In the book of Revelation, Jesus says to the church at Ephesus, you need to return back to your first love. That's Jesus actually giving you the definition of revival, is to going back to your first love. And when that happens, you are revived. Worship breaks out. Confession breaks out of sin. Um, There is a prayer very often, I want to be careful that I say this and that you hear this. There's a group throughout history, for example, that will say things like, uh, let's have a revival next Sunday night. Okay, and they might even say on the church marquee out in front of the street, revival here next Sunday night. (laughs) That's cute, but it's completely false. You can't do that. You can't manufacture revival. It's the move of God. It's sovereign move of God. However, revival does require you and I taking a look of our, at ourselves on the inside and saying, I need to repent and get back to my love of God. I need to get away from these sins that have beset me and return to the Lord. In fact, listen, the prodigal son parable that Jesus gave is a perfect example of revival. That young man had life, but he walked away from it. And he got into the pitfalls and perils of the world. And then he woke up and realized, this stinks. I need to get back to my father. And I need to get back uh, to living a life that I'm supposed to live. And revival's not mentioned, but it's a story about revival. Repentance isn't mentioned, but it's a story about repentance. And so we need to remember this. Revival can only happen to the church not unbelievers. It's impossible. Unbelievers do not experience revival. Only the saved experience revival. 